good morning we're so happy that you're here <laughs> we daily vlog so if you like this video come back tomorrow james and i are in des plaines illinois <laughs> meeting our bffs lauren and lucy halfway to get some breakfast and we have to see them before christmas so just me and james lauren and lucy for a little breakfast date Ooh. This is it. Bee's Sweet Bites Bakery and Coffee Bar. Yeah. Do you want a donut? Duck. Jamesy's new favorite word duck. is duck. Duck. Where do you see a duck? Duck. duck. Okay, oh. I thought I was gonna get these cannoli pancakes. But then I just saw they have a Monte Cristo sandwich. Look at this menu. Pause if you'd like. But everything sounds so good. Special delivery. Wow. Jinxie, would you like a hot chocolate donut? I think so. See donut? We have a donut at our table. Ooh, pop tarts. Look at these sweets. Oh my gosh, these cookies. 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 I love cookies. Ooh, star. And look at oh my gosh, cake. Little pies. <gasps> Just for looking. Good job. They give you little English muffins as starters. What? Cinnamon. Oh. Yes. You want to try it? Alrighty. Here are my cannoli pancakes. Look at these. They're glorious. You got a little. Sandwich situation, hash browns, burrito, and a, and a partridge and a pear tree. Oi! Check it out, check it out, check it out, sleeping baby. What's more cool about the sleeping baby is he just smashed a four ounce bottle of formula. One go, didn't stop. I don't think he's done that for a long time. He's only done that like a handful of times in ever ever so we're we're trying to begin the process of the weaning um so i'm very happy about that and I'm just gonna maneuver some meetings right now hopefully he sleeps for at least like an hour hour and a half maybe we'll see and i'm getting some photos from sarah and james's trip it's looking like a lot of fun You look like the people on the street that I like to see. <laughs> <laughs> I just love winter wear. Walgreens. Walgreens. For Jewel. pictures. Yeah. Jewel for kombucha. Gingerbread house. Gingerbread house kid. Candy. Candy. Oh, dishwasher pods. Dishwasher pods. Can you text me that please? <laughs> Alrighty, we are home. And it was such a nice visit. And that was such a nice restaurant. And we had such a good time. Somebody asked if Lucy and James were twins because they're the same age, wearing the same shirt. Um, so that was kind of that was kind of cute. But anywho, we are home and I'm kind of getting some like calls in. I am calling the hearing specialist to get James in. I'm getting Eve a haircut appointment. I'm um, updating our catering that we're having for Christmas Eve. Um, and so yeah, I'm kind of just on the phone while Peter's out and the kids are playing. Also, you might have heard me say that we're gonna get a gingerbread house tonight. Thank you so much in the comments for being like, you don't need to go out to have 
Christmas cheer. So we're gonna do a gingerbread house, maybe bake some cookies. Um, we always have Christmas movies on, but just something different and special at home tonight because tonight's a night that we're gonna cook dinner and get some stuff around the house and just stay in. We have a busier day tomorrow. So that is our Wednesday, but it's still gonna be festive and cheerful. Are you just on, on your neighborhood prowl? Yeah. Per usual. He just opened Advent, and Teddy likes his donkey. Hee-haw, 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 hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, hee-haw. You think that's funny? There you go. There you go, sweetheart. Right in the mouth. And Jamesy got a bus. We're having a dip party with pizza rolls too. Watching Bluey? It feels like Friday, guys. <gasps> Christmas weekend! Well, we are doing something fun tomorrow. And it is a long weekend. So it's rightfully cheerful. And I got sweet babies. <laughs> James laughs after every Bluey episode. <laughs> like, without fail. It's such a hoot of a show. <laughs> We're doing double bath times. They're taking a the bath and I'm gonna work out. I don't even know it though. <laughs> ah, chaos. Chaos. <laughs> Peter's off of work. And chaos, now? Chaos, chaos, chaos. We're getting stuck. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. All right, I'm, I'm jealous. Okay, Evie thinks I'm leaving because I put these Peloton shoes on. So I'm sorry if you hear her, if you hear her barking. Um, somebody told me there's a really good Encanto ride. So. That's what I'm gonna find. So I'm kinda snapping. Got it. I also did not do that 6 a.m. Disney ride I talked about the other day. One day, I will wake up. Oh, I still have my headband on. Actually, that might be helpful during the ride. Um, I did wake up early today, but because James and I were going out, I didn't use that time for me. I used that time to get ready. And honestly, it wasn't as early as I should. But anyways, we're getting there, baby steps. Like, we're sticking to this routine. I feel like now, like, I'm not even saying it to Peter. It's just my own joke. Um, we've been good with the routine. Like, it's, it's not something that I knew would happen overnight, and we still are getting into the groove of it. Um, and obviously, it's, like, right before Christmas. Um... But anywho, I'm just here to tell you that even if you're not like making huge life changes and like you're just kind of feeling a little tiny, even 1%, even a percentage of a percent better each day, that you're making progress and you should be proud of yourself because I feel proud of myself and nothing that we're doing is revolutionary by any means, but we're doing it. Okay, I'm gonna find this. And Kanto ride and let you know how it goes. Here it is, and it's with my favorite Robin. We've got two clean kids, minor chaos, two clean kids, post bath, in jammies. Okay, the ride is over. I'm gonna start some rice quinoa mix. Cooking while I hop in the shower. We're multitasking over here to make to make it work. 
I am red, but that is okay. Um, I am doing one and a half cups of rice and a full cup of quinoa mixed together. Um, this rice will last us today and tomorrow, because we'll do leftovers tomorrow. Um, and tonight I'm making a stir fry. I might look up a Satouli canteen, like, I don't know, idea for like the dressing or something to kind of make a, like a mock recipe of that. Okay, Teddy is down for a nap in our bed. <laughs> He's just had a ton of little naps today and our transfer, even with the pack and play just recently, he's had a little bit of a hard time. I think he's teething again. Everything's just going straight in his mouth. Um, so to guarantee a good long nap, I just had him in my bed. So he's taking a rest and I'm about to start cooking dinner. Do you ever hook yourself up in the future and you're like, wow, that is great. I was just getting out vegetables to prep to chop that that's going to take the longest bit of time for the stir fry when i remembered we already have a stir fry ready from trader joe's so i don't even have to i just have to like throw this in heat it up i am going to heat up some chickpeas as well um kind of in the style of the chicken at Satuli, and then I'm gonna make a coleslaw to go on top like Satuli. so that's where I'm getting my inspiration from there from. But, heck yeah, now I don't, I barely have to do anything. So I'm gonna cook these on this more like grill pan I have. I'm gonna use some liquid smoke, some soy sauce, um, maybe a little bit of honey to give it a little bit of sweetness. So I'm going for like a smoky grill flavor for the veggies. Added some big chunks of garlic in, pepper and salt, and I'm gonna at a high heat so that it again like gets that like harsher cook to it. Okay, so looking at the portion, if I truly want this to be two nights worth of dinner, I am going to chop up a tomato and one pepper to give it just like more heartiness. Maybe even two peppers. Um, this is a decent amount, but like it is just vegetables. This is totally totally plant based. We want to leave this meal completely satisfied and I don't want to say oh we have to save half and like deny us going back for seconds so I want there to be seconds I want there you know to have the mentality that tomorrow all we have to do is heat up the food so I'm also going to add in some ginger some onion powder and some more pepper now that like there's more more vegetables I'm gonna I'm gonna need a little bit more flavor um, and then I also have water chestnuts, which Peter loves and I love, and I, I'm gonna use them tonight. I've had them forever, and it's the perfect night. I like a lot of flavors when I make bowls like this, so sorry for the, for the fog. Better? Um, and that is why I'm cooking the chickpeas separate in the style of the beef at Satuli. Um, and so I will link the recipe that I use below. Basically it's red wine vinegar, garlic, rosemary, thyme, onion powder, red pepper flakes. So it just has like a little bit of a different flavor to top our bowls with and stand out and be super yummy. And then I'm going to make the coleslaw like their cilantro lime creamy dressing. Um, and then that'll be it. I don't think I'm gonna do a salad. I think I'm just gonna make these hearty enough to be the full meal, which is hard for me because I'm someone who likes side dishes, but I think the elements of the meal will like stand out, will be enough on their own. Alrighty, so everything is in there, along with nutritional yeast and some plant-based butter, because why not? It came to a boil, that fog. So it came to a boil and now I'm gonna let it simmer and soak up some of those juices. Alrighty, and here is my little cilantro lime dressing I'm gonna add to the coleslaw cabbage. And it is part hummus, part garlic dip from Trader Joe's, lime juice, and uh, cilantro. I have shake cilantro, probably better with fresh. I'll probably add some salt in there too. So I also just added some pepper in, but here is our coleslaw. That bag got us three nights of coleslaw, and I think it's a great topper for so many meals. Adds just a little bit of extra crunch, a little bit of, like, just pluses it. And so I've been loving having coleslaw, excuse me. No, thank you. You can be my sous chef. But you already had your peppers. So I mashed the chickpeas a little bit and I'm gonna get these in the bowl. Here are our bowls. 
Do you feel like you're at Satuli Canteen? I do. This is some delicious looking dinner. You want some? More, please. I can reach Yeah. 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 Now we got sweet chili sauce and sriracha to top it with. So it's a little bit too late to decorate the gingerbread house. Bedtime candy, you know. So we're gonna have some biscotti. That's like the littlest, daintiest bite I've ever seen from you. <laughs> And I saw this um, Russian ballet nutcracker on YouTube, so I put that on for a little Christmas flair. Um, excuse me, sir. <laughs> Look at that adventurous boy. Is it cold? Dog. Yeah. You think he'll go on or in? On. on. Nice choice. Do you want this little girl? Yes. It's a baby. Oh. Teddy is freeze, freeze, Teddy. Don't freeze. Teddy's loving Bluey. Stop. We're just Stop. playing before bed. Freeze. Just watch him play. Ah. Yes, they're on. Yeah. It is after 10 o'clock at night. When was the last time you guys saw Peter Brookhart do a run? Especially like a six mile hour long run. This late, it's like we're living in Florida or something. But, we gotta get time on the legs, right? Dopey's in two weeks. Felt good. It's getting colder. It's getting colder. Felt good. First six mile run. Gonna keep that up. Gonna try to do a long run this weekend, but with the weather, I'm not sure how I'm gonna maneuver that. Maybe, maybe I might have to get pushed to Monday. We shall see. Alrighty, I am going to sign off for us. Peter just got back from the gym, um, and I finished editing. Teddy's kind of like not been just like staying settled um i kind of mentioned the teeth earlier i'm curious if that's it but we'll see how the night goes we are on high alert for a big winter storm that is coming our way starting tomorrow um we were actually invited by the children's museum at navy pier to come and enjoy what they have to offer which is really exciting but we're kind of waiting to see if it's going to open with the storm. If we plan on going in the morning and it's not supposed to start snowing until later, but we just want to be safe. So we're kind of TBD on that. Um, but otherwise we're kind of getting prepared, you know, getting gas, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah. So get ready for some snow in Chicago and if you, I mean, I know it's actually like the whole country. So like anyone who is concerned about this, um, we are sending you all the good vibes and the, the support that we're going to need to get, to get through these next couple of days because it kind of seems like it's going to be unpredictable. So we're thinking of everybody and we are going to hunker down ourselves. So with that, it is good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>